Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. How are you guys all doing? Huh, <sighs> good, I hope. Well, we are going to do a video. So here is a card that I just made. Well, I started it yesterday. <laughs> and I finished it just a bit ago. So it opens up this way. I haven't decorated anything on the inside yet, but this is all by Spellbinders. Um, I use the, what did I say everything was? I don't remember what I said everything was, you guys. I'm still not all together yet. Okay, so just bear with me. But this is the, I have it written down. I don't know what I did with my list. I stuck it somewhere. <laughs> well, yeah. I've been moving everything around, just tried to make room with my hot foil plates, my hot foil, glimmer hot foil machine to come up here and I moved everything around and now I can't find what I did with everything else. So, oh wait, maybe this is it. Oh yeah, here it is. I found it. So the, this is the, again, this, uh, this hot foil plate, the GLP332. Where is it? Well, I don't see it all on here. This isn't it. Well, guys, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I guess I can't tell you what it is. It's, I did, I uploaded a video the other day on all these dies that I did and stuff so if you haven't seen it i uploaded so these hot foil plates so these are two hot foil plates and then i have three other dies that i uploaded with this that are sprigs leaf green leafies and stuff like that so but i'm gonna show you how to do one but i think yeah we're gonna do this because i like this one and i haven't done this one yet but we will do this one at a later date okay so we're gonna play with the i think it's a kaleidoscope circle one so we're gonna do this one again because i love it too much and yeah and we're gonna do that one so I already have everything cut out. I already have my birds, but I think we're gonna do bluebirds this time. So I'm gonna grab, let's grab a bluebird out. So that means we're gonna do a different color. So we're not gonna do a blue, a turquoise or whatever background. So I might have to do a different background, I'm not sure yet. So there's our bluebirds. Okay, so you can make your birds any color you want. So I used um, lunar paste to cut all these out, okay? And then, as you can see here on this, these are the berries, the, the sprigs. So let me hold it this way so you guys can see it more. So this is a sprig with some berries. And I thought birds and berries go really good together. And so that's what we're doing this together. And on Spellbinders, there's a die that goes, there's a paper die, or not a paper die. Um, it's not, it's not a paper die that you run through your, um, it's not, not like a paper die you run through your die cutting machine. It's a metal die that cuts through cardstock. <laughs> but it kind of makes this, um, if you see my gold ribbon here, um, this gold floss here, it kind of makes this cutting through your paper and you fold it backwards and it makes these three designs in your paper, whatever kind of cardstock or whatever you're using to cut through. And it will make those strips and then you just fold it backwards and you glue it back or tape it or however you do it and stuff like that but i just i was watching simon hurley's premiere today 
and he was using the wax seals and that's what these are these are all part of the wax seals and um, spellbinders sent me these things and stuff like that and so um so but yeah so so they sent me these items not the thread not the tool or what do you call this stuff floss this is uh in case you're wondering what this floss is i got this floss at um i believe michael's or joanne's i'm not sure but it's this is gold and it's d3821 and then i have a silver one oh and you know what i cannot tell you the name of this one but I, they're both i got them out of the same section so yeah i oh sorry but i ripped the name of it off the number off i'm assuming it's pretty similar to the gold just silver so but we're gonna replicate this one instead we're gonna use bluebirds and a different shade of color okay so that's what we're gonna do and we might use silver instead of the gold and we're gonna do gold foil instead of silver foil maybe i don't know i like i like the red because you know everything all goes good together and stuff like that so <sighs> So if you guys hear me mumbling over my words, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's this, uh, blood pressure medication I'm on and it's making me extremely cold. So just bear with me. Okay. <laughs> We're going to blame it on that. I have to take it for the next 90 days. So, yeah. So I don't blood clot. So that's what they got me on. So I am going to cut this on a paper thing. Because as you can tell, if you look at this card, it's a tad crooked. And I cut it after I um, hot foiled it. I And I got it all put together. I noticed it was a tad crooked on this side. And as you can see... You run your thumb down. I noticed it's crooked on this side, but it's straight on this side and straight on this side and straight on this side, but a little crooked here. So I was like, oh boy. So maybe I'll give this to some a neighbor and they won't even notice. <laughs> right? So this plate is, in case you're wondering, okay, hope you guys don't mind a long video today, no. Um, this plate is roughly five and three-fourths, okay, by four and a half, okay. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to get my paper trimmer, and we're going to cut... a piece of white paper that is, what did I say, five and three fourths? So that looks like about five and three fourths. Because we want to make sure we're straight this time. So there's five and three fourths by, what did I say, four and a half? Did I say four and a half? Yes, four and a half. Okay. Couldn't remember if I said four and a half. Okay, so there's four and a half. Okay, so that should fit. Yes, correct. So now we're going to get our foil. So I think I'm going to go with so I used, the foil that I used was this silver. So I think we'll just use the same foil, okay? So I'm gonna lay this on here, okay? So let's go ahead and take our hot foil plate, okay? 
We're gonna lay this down. I like this design. It looks really pretty. And it kind of adds that almost like it has like a little bit of red prism in it. Green maybe if you're looking at it right. So now I'm gonna grab my roto rotor rotary cutter if I can find where I put it right here. It is closed. If I can get it to go down. Oh, because I it must have slipped on me. See, and then that slipped on me. Okay, stay there. Don't move. Okay. So now I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna make sure this is tight. Got that. Close our cutter. Come on. Okay, it is closed, right? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to put that away. Okay, so now I'm going to get my foil, hot foil machine ready. So I'm going to put this on here. Get that ready to go. And then we're going to put this down. Get this all ready to go, too. All right. Oops. Okay, so we're going to get her plugged in. Uh, turned on. Check. And she's on. Now let's get her on. Oops. Oopsie doopsie doopsie. Now, I do things a little bit differently. I don't always follow the rules because if you do it this way, you get more of a really good foil. You can follow the rules, so um, don't do what I do. I mean, don't. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up with my corners here. Now I know there's other crafty gals that tape it. I tried taping it yesterday and I don't know if I liked it very well. So I kind of want to save my heat safe tape for my mugs because that's when I really need it the most. So now I'm going to put this down. Make sure our hot foil does not curl up on us. Because that's what happened to me. Um, whoops. A couple of videos ago, I was trying to, I think I was trying to do a video on a Christmas card. And it... So we're going to wait until it says platform ready and hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm going to move that thing out of the way. I'm going to get this. I'm just going to set my die cutting plates in my trash can for a moment and I will hopefully not rem hopefully I won't forget that they're in the trash can. And I won't throw them away. Take a swig of hot coffee because I definitely need it. I even have a sweatshirt on and I have the softest of softest, trying to find the softest socks in my sock drawer to put on my feet. But my feet still don't like wearing them. But it is what it is. Oh. Should I sing a song? No. <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman. <laughs> no, like I did the other day on the <laughs> surgery table. <laughs> that was pretty funny. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. That was hilarious. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they had, when they gave me that happy juice to try and make me go to sleep, I guess it didn't work, so they said, hey, do you want some more happy juice? I was like, mm, no. <laughs> and uh, they, uh, they said, because, you know, because I didn't know what it was going to do. I, I didn't, you know, didn't want to know. So they had to give me, I guess they gave me a shot of Benadryl. I can't remember if I told you guys that the other day or not, but yeah. I guess the Benadryl must have helped. So, yeah. But yesterday, I was definitely not, still wasn't feeling it. It took me all day to make a card. And I will show you a card that I worked on. Well, where is the card I made yesterday? I might as well show you. Let me show you some cards. A card I made. It's something I got in the mail yesterday. So I got this stamp set in the mail yesterday. Oh, great. And I just threw a card in the main trash can. So, I got this stamp set in the mail yesterday called Trim a Tree by Lawn Fawn. It's a fun one to work with. And it's kind of tedious or detailed oriented or however you want to call it. I'm feeling heat. Come on. Come on. And stuff like that. So here is a card that I made. I watercolored this, except for that. But I watercolored, did I watercolor the gingerbread boy? I may have, I don't remember. But I watercolored the gingerbread, or the Christmas tree, I should say and the presents and everything and that was supposed to be breakup blue and somehow it turned up kind of lavender and I don't know okay platform ready now we're gonna hit the timer so that's the card doesn't that look cute stockings hanging I was trying to think of a way to have the stockings hang but it took me all day just to make that card yesterday that's kind of how I felt <laughs> And I think I went gem crazy. Cause she sent she sent me um a bag of gems, a free bag of gems. I thought that was really sweet of her. Do 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 should be any second now. Oh. Okay, solid green. So now we're gonna pop this out. Okay. Oy, very carefully. Yeah, we're gonna turn this off because we're not gonna make another one. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here because you guys can't see me. I'm just gonna walk you through it. So I'm over here to my Sissix die cutting machine. We're gonna turn the handle very slowly. My new handle that it is. Okay, why is it not turning? What happened here? Somebody slipped. That's not good. Make sure nothing slips. My plate slipped, I think. Come on. Okay. So I've got my Tim Holtz ink stand on my one other wheelie cart and it's not very stable so I have to really go slow so I had to move it out of the way because if that thing goes falling and crashing down we got a mess to clean up 
that'd be a good laugh for you. Okay. This better not have messed up on me because I don't know where I put my mono sandy racer. Okay, let's plug that back in. Grab our plates, move those aside. Ooh, those are warm. Grab this. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Look at that. Oh, oh, much better than the other day when I did it. Uh, I love it. So now we can save these for when I get some solid foil plates. And these will not be a waste, I promise you. This is not a waste. Look at that. That is really beautiful. I really don't see anything that needs to be erased or anything. So red and silver go good together, blue and silver. Now, because we're using bluebirds, I am not going to use blue and blue together. Okay. okay. Obviously, that magnet doesn't work very well with that plate. So... I am going to grab my scissors here and we're going to hold it very carefully. Wow. <sighs> That's a very strong plate. Okay, now I'm going to move this out of my way because we need room to do stuff, right? So I'm going to put this on the floor for now and unplug it because we don't want to start a fire or anything else like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and ink this up. So I could do Simon Hurley's inks or I can do, you know what? I'm going to do Festive Berries just because I like it. And I also have Lumberjack Plaid. And those two go really good together. So I think we'll do those. Okay. So you guys can see how well those two look very similar and how good those two blend with each other. Okay. All right, let me get my brushes here. Get my other stuff out of the way. Okay, Vesta Berries, check. And Lumberjack Plaid, check. You. Okay, so I am one who has a brush for just about every color that there is. I'm different, I know. Okay, so we're gonna start with the darkest color. Lumberjack Plaid is a little bit darker than Festive Berries. I do have some other reds, but they're in the smaller ink category. I have smaller inks, but I'm using oxides. These are the only two red oxides that I have of Tim Holtz's. So we're gonna use these two. So we're gonna start with Lumberjack Plaid. Come on. I want it on their dark because I want that foil to really stick out. Oh, and then I saw some, if you guys haven't caught Simon Hurley's video premiere today, you might want to check out his premiere if you haven't seen it yet. Oh my gosh. Spellbinders has this uh, translucent, um, I don't think they call it translucent snow flake 
foil now. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. Really pretty. Or is it translucent hot foil? Oh my goodness, it looks really beautiful on dark. Um, you can probably even, it looks good on dark colored cardstock, but you could also probably put it on white and then put a dark ink, dark inks on it, and it will pop through. And then wipe off the ink off of the stuff. So now we're coming in with Vesta Berries. And you see how those two almost look like twins. Now you see how I say. So now I know a lot of people already have both of these. And I know some of you don't have the Lumberjack plaid yet and you already have Vesta Berries and you were debating about getting Lumberjack plaid and you were wondering if you were gonna get it or not. I mean, they're almost, they almost go hand in hand. I mean, they're almost twins, twinsies. But I love red. Red is my favorite color. It's like number one favorite. And then blue, I love blue too. Like a light blue, like a, um, turquoise type blue or teal blue. Um, I come from a long line of family of us women in our family. Blue always seems to look good on us. Okay, so now I'm going to fill the rest of it in with Lumberjack Red. Oops, I have a ghost in my craft room. No, <laughs> some over here is making noise. Okay. Got those pretty well blended. So now I'm gonna take my water sprayer. <sighs> okay. At least three times I spray. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my green dry microfiber towel. I'm going to turn it on the smooth side. Okay, you see how it's curled up because I sprayed it, of course. A little flat now once it's dry. Okay, now we're going to go in and we're going to wipe off all that foil because ink is resistant to foil. Okay, all the other ink will stay on the paper. I'm not taking any ink off the paper. We're just taking the ink off the foil. There, pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, that looks good, doesn't it? Beautiful. So now I'm going to clean off my inky spot. Dry it off with my blue one. This is my drying towel. Okay, so now we can put all these away. We don't need these. Okay, let's put our brushes away. So you see how these have Velcros on back? They hang on my ink, Tim Holtz ink stand that I made. So I'm just putting my things away. There. I 
I see some of my labels are coming off of my brushes, I see. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so now we got this. We are going to figure out where we're going to put our things. But first we need to put together some berries. Okay, so I need, so we're going to set this out aside. So I need five of these, three, four, and five. And then I need five red berries. I think these are like pomegranates, that's what they are. And pomegranates are Christmassy. Three, four, and five, okay? So my glue is right here. All right, so I'll put that down, grab my brush. So I'm gonna go in and we're going to glue. So I used, um, I thought maybe pomegranates grew in, and I didn't Google them because I don't know where they grow. I just thought they looked, this kind of looked like, almost like Florida to me, almost tropical type of berries or I don't know. I was just thinking birds and berries almost, but uh oh. Well, I didn't want that to happen. So now I have to go in and fix it. So that's what these go on. They go on top of that other green berry that I had made. So now we're going to. Hopefully, and my hair is stuck in there. And I use barely arts glue. I only have a drop under there because it's these are only about the size of maybe a large gem. Ah, come on, really? So, yeah, as you can tell, this one doesn't want to stick. So we have a problem. sure I have a little bit more glue because I know sometimes this stuff sticks this stuff dries really fast okay all right so now we're gonna get our little orange things on I used a uh, roar I do believe and this is um, game over Roar and Tropical Tango is what I used. So now I'm going to go in and put a dabble. putting a dabble on the other four. Okay. Now I'm not, oh yeah. I was thinking these are pomegranates now. These could be bird berries, but for all I know, It just said berries but I do have the name of them in a previous video that I did a couple days ago was it the day after my surgery I did it okay uh, that one just popped right off you little stinker
Okay. All right. So now we're going to glue these guys on. Okay. So here's my blue jays or bluebirds. I love blue jays. They're one of my favorite birds and we have them here in Colorado. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the birds. A little dabble drop of glue on the leaves. Okay. And then a little bit on the stems. Okay. Very carefully, I'm going to go in this way. Press that down. Okay, now we're going to put this one down. Put on the back side of the berries. In the leaves. Okay. And oop. Okay. And then I'm going to go turn this at an angle, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to use this for a second. Okay. And while that's drying for a second, for just one second, we are going to get a card base real quick. Okay. Now, I'm not so sure how to put my video on pause yet, guys. So you're going to have to bear with me. I don't know. No, I do not have a pause button. And we're already at 37 minutes, but we are almost done. So that has blue. So I do believe I have blue. So we're going to get a blue card base. Blue it is. Blue it is. Okay. So we're going to make this. Okay. So what size is this again? Okay. Let's check here. Four and a half? Oh yeah, duh. Five, five and three fourths. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So I need this. I'm gonna have to get some more solid colors here pretty soon. Running out of options. Oh yeah, so while that's drying, we'll make our card base and then I'll show you with my gold string or gold floss, whatever you want to call it. One, two, and then, oh yeah, go this way. So this is my thicker 120 pound, 110 pound colored cardstock that I got. It was like a hundred and sheets that I got over the summer or spring, whatever it was, a while ago. Okay, so let's cut, trim this down. So five and three fourths by four and a half. So we're going to trim this down to six this way. Okay. Come on, cut. Please cut. Okay. I, okay. What did I say? Five and three fours by four and a half. So four and three fourths. 
I think that'll be that'll work. So there's four and a half. Here's four and three fourths, right there. Okay, that's some pretty thick cardstock there. Okay, so we got that. Okay, now this should be dry because barely art dries in a mirror of seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna take our gold floss here, and I love this stuff. I want enough to where I can wrap around three times on the front. Okay, that should be enough, I hope. And then I have my, let me get my red tape out. Okay, because we're going to need that, and we're going to need our sticky scissors. Okay. So I need this to be in the back, because you want this to wrap around. Okay. And you want it even. I want this even. Oops. I guess it doesn't really have to be even, but just as long as you can get it wrapped around three times. Okay. It's going to look cool. So there's two. Or not. Okay, then you hold. And then wrap. So there's your third. Okay. So I'm not gonna do any tying, I'm just gonna pull this, okay? And you're gonna pull tight, and you're gonna hold it. <laughs> so we're grab our tape. I just use this red tape that my friend Ramona sent me, and I have plenty of it, believe me. I got enough to last me a lifetime now. <laughs> So we're gonna tape this down. Okay, let's make sure I got it all in there. Did I, I got it all taped in? I think so. I can say I can cut it now. Okay. All right, so now it's safe to cut this. So now we can cut these ends off. There we go. All right, put those aside, put that aside. We don't need that. Okay, so now we need our, what do we need? Our foam tape. Okay. Well, we do need sticky scissors again though, don't we? <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so now we're gonna stick of that. Oops, hope I just didn't cut a hole in my pants. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what the craft roulette show is, you guys should come join that if you haven't already. I think I got a couple people on. Um, I actually won something again. So every time you turn a card in on between Friday and a Sunday or whatever, 
if you're not a patron, or even if you are a patron or a non-patron. So every time you turn a card in, you win something. You have a chance of winning. Your name gets put on the wheel and you win something. Well, I won something again and I won a $25 gift certificate from Pear Blossom Press. And oh my gosh, that $25 went a long way this time. She had some good sales on her website. All right, so now we're gonna put this on and this card will be done. So I'm gonna start at the top to make sure I have this on even. And then I will bend it up and make sure it's on correctly. Does that look good? That looks pretty good. I think so. Okay. All right. Let's peel away. And then we will be done, you guys. Okay. Does that look good? So that is how you get that look. Kind of like what that die does. And that one came loose on me. I like my other one better, though. But that's okay. So, I don't know. Which one do you like better? My little bit of Crooked card, which is the blue one. Or do you like the red one better with the blue birds? So the blue birds or the red birds? So which one is your favorite one? You tell me. The blue with the silver or the red with the silver? I kind of like the blue, even though it's a tad crooked on the bottom, but that's okay. I like them both, but I like the blue. I like that turquoise with the red background, but... I don't know. I kind of like them both. But, I don't know. But, I don't know. I like all these ideas of different Christmas cards now. So beautiful. So anyways, you don't even have to put gems on these if you don't want to because there's lots of foil and sparkle on here. Because I've noticed even with my new phone, you guys, taking a picture and then editing it, somehow I still get blurry pictures and I don't know where I'm going wrong. So anyways, <laughs> talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Um, yeah, I miss doing videos on my laptop. No, <laughs> no, I love my new phone and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I'm loving doing videos for my new phone. So I will talk to you guys later. I will get this uploaded and see you later. Love you. Bye.